Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge A level information technology paper 4 for the year May June 2023. I am going to solve the spreadsheet task which is task 3. The graphics and animation will be done soon and uploaded. You can find the link in the description once it is uploaded. So task 3 spreadsheet challenge open branch data dot ods in a spreadsheet application. I have the files here and I have opened branch data. This is the required file. The workbook contains data on sales by staff at company branches in different countries. There are two worksheets, branch data worksheet which contains the details of the uh, employees and country codes which shows the list of the countries where the company has branches. So you can see there is branch data and here you can see country codes are given. Save the spreadsheet as branch data followed by your center number, candidate number. So let's save this. Save as branch data followed by your center number and candidate number. Save as Excel workbook. You will use the spreadsheet to calculate the total sales for each country. You are required to provide evidence of your work when instructed. Create an evidence document named evidence followed by your center number and candidate number. So we need an evidence document. So let's create an evidence document. It should be named as evidence followed by your center number and candidate number. followed by your center number and candidate number. Enter formulas in column F to extract the country code from the reference code. So you can see here the reference code is given. We have to extract the country code. So the country code is the three letter word that comes after the first hyphen here. So we can use a mid formula to find the three letter code from here. So in the mid formula the starting position of this one is just after the hyphen. So first we need to find the position of the hyphen. For that I will use a find formula which will find the position of any character. So this is the format of find. So find formula, find text, which text you want to find. So hyphen is the text I want to find and within text, from which text we want to find the position. So this is the text. So I have given this and the start num, start num is the position from which it should start checking. So it is one, you can give one from the beginning. So when you give find formula, here you can see there are two hyphens but find will first show the position of the first occurrence of the text which we are giving here. So if you give ok, you can see it shows 3 which is the position of hyphen here. Now we need to extract from the fourth position for this particular data. So in all this reference code, it will be after the plus 1 after uh, the position of hyphen next character we need to extract. So I will just copy this formula now let us start with the now let us start with mid function so mid so the text is this text. The starting position is the starting po the position of the hyphen plus one. So the position of the hyphen is is this fine formula which I had copied plus one. So I'll give plus one here, and the number of characters to be extracted is three. 
because the country code has three characters. So the number of characters three. Give OK so that you get the country code here. So this is the required formula. So we have found the country code. Next, extract a list of the unique country codes from column F and display the data in cells H9 and below. So we have the country codes here. We need to extract the unique country codes and copy it to cells H9. So I'll copy this. You should paste as values because uh, we are getting values from a formula. Paste as values. Now we need the unique country codes. For that I will go to data, remove duplicates and we have to remove the duplicates. Uh, provide evidence of your method in your evidence document. So I will take the screenshot of this one. Paste that in your evidence document. Let's take the screenshot this way. Remove duplicates. have pasted all the steps of removing the duplicates. Give OK. So we have the unique values here. Use the data in the country codes worksheet to display the country represented by each code in cells I9 and below. So we have to represent the country names in column I and we have the country codes given here. The country name is in the first column and the country codes are given here. So let's use an XLOOKUP function equals XLOOKUP the lookup value is the country code. The lookup array is the column in which the country code appears Make sure it is absolute as we are going to replicate the formula. And the return array is the column from which we need the answer or it is the country column. Make sure it is also absolute. Give OK. So this is the required formula for extracting the country name. Now let's replicate. Calculate the total of the sales for each country as shown. We need to calculate the total sales. So the sales are given here based on the country code. Let's calculate. We can use the sum if function. So equals sum if the range is the column of the country codes because our criteria appears in the range. 
and the criteria is the country code for which we are calculating the total so this is the country code and the sum range is the sales column so this will be the sum range now both ranges needs to be absolute since we are replicating the formula so both of them are absolute give ok now let's replicate this in cell J3 enter a formula to display the number of countries that meet or exceed a sales target entered in cell H3 so whatever sales target we have entered in cell H3 we need to count how many of them meet or exceed that value so in this cell we have to use a count if function to count with the condition which will meet or exceed this value so equals count if the range is the total sales here and the criteria is greater than or equal to that means meets or exceeds this cell now when you give like this you can see that you are not getting the value because this cell reference is taken as a text it needs to be given as a reference mm -hmm. so what we need to do is we have to remove the double inverted comma from here and include that only for the greater than or equal to sign and to make sure that it is the cell reference we have to add an ampersand symbol here and symbol here is added before the uh, cell reference so that the system understands it's a cell reference otherwise it is taken as a text so now okay so you can see the value count is given here let's enter this value and see So we are getting 4 here. If you look at the data, the country code is central line here. Just let's change that. Next step automatically format the data for the countries that meet or exceed the sales target as shown. So, whichever countries um, meet or exceed the sales target, which is given here, that needs to be highlighted this way. You can see the background is red and the font color is white with italic and there is a border for the cells so let's do that so for that let's select the complete list we can use conditional formatting go to conditional formatting click on new rule and choose use a formula to determine which cells to format so this option is selected now we need to check whether the total sale meets or exceeds the target amount here so this value is greater than or equal to this value now you can see each row it has to compare each value here first it will be comparing J9 with H3 in the next one it should be J10 with H3 then a J11 with H3 like that it goes on so you can see that the row number will change the column will remain fixed so we need to 
remove the referencing absolute referencing from the row so remove the dollar sign for the row so that it will change accordingly for each row so it will be j9 this way dollar sign will be only given for the j so that it is constant the column is constant but the row will change now let's give the formatting rules the fill color must be red font color must be white and it is italic you can see italic here and the border select the border and you should give an outline give ok and then ok so you can see the countries which meets or exceeds this value is highlighted accordingly add the data for the following person so we need to add this data make sure you type the data accurately So the formula is automatically replicated and the country code is shown here. Make sure the new data has been included in the totals. So we have the totals here. So totals we had included the range from F3 to 148. that means still here we have to include this row also 149 so for both ranges we have to include the row 149 so let's edit the formula so instead of 148 I'll give 149 so that the last record is also included here also 149 now let's replicate So you can see this was the country SRB, country code SRB accordingly it changed here. So this is the required formula. Save your spreadsheet. So you can save your spreadsheet. This is end of the spreadsheet task. The other task will be uploaded soon. You can find the link in the description once it's uploaded. Thank you for now.